Welcome to the final Thursday night football for the 2014 TFO football season. And I have always been with you, the Raj TFO Commission. And joining me for this epic last game of the season is Raider All-Stars owner, Brian B. Rye Schuster. Brian, how you doing today, brother? I'm doing all right. And doing pretty good. We're, we're, you're here tonight. Specifically because this is an interdivision rivalry for the ages. It's the Anderson brothers, the Dutch ovens against the Cleveland Steamers. And you've been you've been having it out with both these teams this season. What's your thoughts? I believe that uh the I believe the Cleveland Steamers are gonna go down. You don't like them steamers, flush them? Nope, yep, flush them. Flush them and the Dutch ovens. Nobody likes to leave the stank in the toilet. No. No. The Dutch ovens just shit them out. The Cleveland Steamers just sail them away. <laughs> so let's go down to the field. Good analogy there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's stop shitting around. Let's go out to the ring to see this epic fight. To the 50-yard line. They walk out there and they throw the gloves down. Ryan starts slapping Aaron in the face a little bit because he doesn't know how to throw a real punch. <laughs> Just Aaron like start, Aaron starts crying. And then Aaron hits him one and Ryan's out. <laughs> little spaz. Aaron is a spaz, man. <laughs> you back him into a corner, dude. I'm afraid what he would do. You know what I'm saying? Like a wild chipmunk. Wow. Whoa. He should get a wild chipmunk tattooed on him. That would be sweet. <laughs> I could see that. Oh, man. Ryan getting one of them UFC locks. The uh, guillotine. Is that what he's known guillotine? for? Yeah. Ryan will choke you out. He knows to choke Aaron out. He doesn't want Aaron hitting him. All right, let's go down to the field because now it's, now it's game time. Because I do whatever I want. Regular last game. Probably cut most of that out. Hell of a season. Dutch ovens against the Cleveland Steamers. Cut stuff out. You crazy, motherfucker. And the Dutch ovens will look like they're returning the ball. Yep. Still no emails. Received no emails about kickoffs. But here's a kickoff from Rod Gozinha. It's a straight one. Right to the magic carpet ride. Carpet ride fighting. <laughs> Cutting a rug, if you will. <laughs> Red Wings is dangerous. Red Wings will bleed Look you Look to see a lot of him today. He is a serious player. Oh, throw the ball. Good throw. Nips a nice. Boy. Barely Go, burn him. Donkey punch. Wow. Go, donkey punch. Donkey punch. And Cleveland already getting in the face there. Ahoy with the handoff. Wings done. Red Wings. Oh, and Cleveland. Turds dodge. can't tackle. Oh, Touchdown. Turds can't tackle. I like that. And Red Wings just lighting the field on fire. I mean, he's strong like iron. Because that's what's in blood. <laughs> and the kick is good. So you hear these rumors about the Cleveland Steamers possibly looking at. Johnny Manziel for their quarterback next season. Oh, man. Bust. <laughs> Bust. <laughs> oh, Cleveland, you're so funny. It's a good tackle there. First and ten here for Cleveland on the 30. The biggest oh, turn of them all. Toss wow. play. And man, the, that turn can move. Bone air can move. I tell you what. That was a rushed play. It's a fast and, turn. And he still got the first down. You got Toss play again. Same play. Wow. And another first. Beat the blitz both times with it. I mean, it's it's a play you don't want to blitz against. There's not many of those, but bonair has got the speed to make that happen. And they Same go play again. three times in a row. But look how much more effective. You got to pay attention. When they didn't blitz there, they were able I'll to. I tell you, they would they wouldn't do that on the nation. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> we are the nation. And first down for Bonair, who has had an immaculate season. Can he break the 255 mark here today? Got him. And he still gets a yard. He's a carry monster, man. He is. He may not have the best average in the league, but the dude is a truck. Injuries oh. shall happen, though. Third. You carry ten. the ball a lot, you get knock, tired, you knock, get injured. Knock on wood, right? Bone air, you know. He wants Toss to stay play. strong. Get him. Somebody get that guy. Man. Early, nice, good tackle, earlier, good stop right there. Earlier in the season, Bo was injured, man. Think if he would have been healthy during those games, he would have kick. Been already Don't broken. shank it. Uh oh. Break the game. What a straight kick there. Seven three, good kick. Rod goes in ya. I can hear Ryan Anderson yelling from the press box right now because he did not want a field goal. He wanted a touchdown against his little brother. He's mad. He's always mad. Um, an 
and Aaron's Angry Bob. somewhere. He's got the ball. He's up by four points. Motion again. Oh, he keeps it going. Nice. Sanchez. Dirty Sanchez. Go. Oh, man. Go. He, he, Go. Look at him. Go. Speechless, Go. Man. Whenever you see a Dirty Sanchez, you typically are speechless. Because turds can't tackle. <laughs> dirty Sanchez is a turd, too, isn't it? Oh, Red nice Wings. play, Red Wings. He's trying to defend Tough off back. two, three guys. That Cleveland secondary needs to hold Red Wings to short yardage. There we go. First down. Keep there the clocks go. going. That's what I was talking Keep about Keep the clock there. running. Harry Beaver coming in there and, and showing, showing that defense what they need to do to block there. Ahoy with the ball. Oh, Sanchez just not being able to pull it in. You need to import Ahoy. the ball. Shotgun. Not deport the ball, Throw it. Sanchez. Throw the ball. It's right there. Oh, Go man. Throw. Ahoy to Bagger. But oh, overthrown. Nobody throw. open. Cleveland with amazing coverage there. They're really, really sticking yeah, to their The got to get something going here. Oh, and Ahoy's going to keep it again. Red Wings with a short Good pass. play. Nice. Touchdown. Touchdown. And what, That's what I like to see. Red Wings has been a dual threat all season. He's an amazing running back, but he's also an amazing receiver here for these uh, Dutch ovens. They're sneaky. They got a good offense. You've got to watch them. Hey, for a while there, they were the number one offense in TFO well, before the bye week. But they've been up there all season. Lots of yards from this team. Hot Carl with the kick. That's Andy Buckter returning there. I know his name's kind of messed up up there. He's a rated R, that's why it says it. Toss play again. Right to the NER. Still. Bo He's nerd, dangerous bo too. Nerd. The fastest oh, turn. Oh, man. fumble. Luckily it went out He's of bounds. He's starting to get tired. But he knows to get over there by the edge. He's smart. He's trying to make sure. Again, pitching it right to Bo. Going. Oh man, that's Just a touchdown. The speed of Bo. Can't let him get around the edge. Raiders have had to face him already this year. I mean, multiple weeks. Multiple weeks. Number one scorer. He, he's just impressive on all levels. He's a running back like we have never seen in the league before. I mean, it reminds me of LaFin Dumonde last season, the domination that Bo Nair is demonstrating. You gotta have a good line. Oh, Can't start without a line. Oh, Fumble! Wow. Oh, man. Phil, Phil McCracken. Can he get in? Oh, oh stop, team. That's and, a good defensive and stop. Bo is high fiving people on the sidelines because he knows he's coming. Look at him. He knows he's coming in for you the touchdown. You don't need this here. to happen. Touchdown. Wow. Just, just padding. Padding that score, those number of touchdowns. That's, that's what Ryan Anderson's really all about here today. He's here not to win titles, but to win records. He wants to. He wants his name burned in the book of TFO. You know what I'm saying? That seems legit. I could believe that. Kind of like how. Uh, so do I. Jim Plunkett this weekend. That's what I was gonna say. He's gonna look to immortalize himself. He's had an amazing year, an all-star year, if you ask me. And you know, shortly after Week 17, we'll be announcing the Pro Bowlers. And so everybody, stay tuned. You know, you may be out of the playoff race, but that doesn't mean you don't got no Pro Bowlers, babies. Donkey punch. What Go, donkey there. punch. I think you can really grade your season by how many pro bowlers you have. You know what I mean? Like where you did good, where you did bad, what you can do next season to improve. Oh, oh man. man. Lit Torts. That's rough. The oven's got to get some points on the board before half here. Clint Torres was a 2013 uh, pro bowler, by the way. You got you to make something out of the turnover. And then third and 15. I sure would love I mean, to see them get some points here. Do you think they'd go for the long field goal here? Everybody's Throw covered deep. again. Throw it deep. I would say, oh, wow, beef going down curtain. to Beef Curtain. Nice diving catch oh at the 10 by Beef Curtain. Oh, my God. He was in a hairy situation, and he pulled it out. Amazing. Kind of looks like roast beef. So we have, we have a well-rounded division this year. We have a rough, rough division. Oh, Red Wings. Everybody's very well traversed. Oh, I would say, I would definitely say that the bad pop division has been one of the toughest divisions in TFO this season. Ahoy with the ball. Touchdown, T-Bagger. Oh, man, wide open. He could have been T-Bagging all day. We double covered him when we played him. 
No, he double covered the tea bag. Yeah, <laughs> he's that quarterback's blanket. He is, man. Nips ahoy, man. You know the name kind of tells you he wants to throw it long, but that that's very misleading. He'll he'll throw it short. He's not afraid. Andy Fuckter's not the afraid. Cleveland's got to get something going here, but they're good at running the ball. Let's see if Bo Nair, the big turd, can make something happen. The big turd. That'd be a hell of a nickname. The big turd. He's the biggest turd on their team. <laughs> and the fastest. Bo with the ball. Shakes. Oh, it's oh. all about the block. Well, the turd is there. floating. What? Somebody get him. Carry. He's on the magic carpet. And going to halftime. Really, they're right there. I... It's Dirty Sanchez, is my feeling, is the real all-star here. He keeps coming in and blindsiding these guys that are blocking Bo, and Bo's being able to just sprint towards the end zone. Yeah, he is kind of dirty. Our players didn't get along with him too well either. So, But Nips Ahoy really has been dictating the pace of this game with his methodical passing and first down. So this is going to be an interesting uh, second half of football. Elvin's got to get a stop here. Steamer's getting the ball back, only down by four here. They can take the lead here with a good touchdown. Get her, get him. That's what they need to keep get going him. to the well. He's such a threat. I mean, he's on, oh my gosh. He's a threat no matter where he is on the field. I, he's on track for a 300 plus yard game day again. You know what I mean? Like the man has had many. Look at him with the ball and you see, you see Dirty Sanchez running right behind him, trying to clip anybody that's gonna try to hold Bo. Oh. But with the ball there. Don't play the game if you can't take the pain. That's what I say. Third and one here. Just dissecting with this. Oh. Well, he throws the choice just to throw the Man. ball deep. Touchdown. Nice. I mean, the Dutch ovens were in there. They were in his face. But Wilma Dickfit was able to get the ball from Drew Peacock. I think those two DBs got that coverage disguise there. I think they uh, misunderstood each other. And there's the kick. And Cleveland the only reason somebody could be that now wide open. up by three. Really, it goes back to that fumble and where nothing was made of it, man. You know, when you got out, like loss you say, of the turnover. When, when you got you opportunity, you got to take it. Nice carpet oh. ride. It's already oh oh man. no carpet ride just was struggling too much there. It looked like something was wrong, but he he made a few extra yards there before collapsing on the field. And now they're going to bring Belt It Out. What what a name, Belt It Out. <laughs> well, I see him in practice earlier this oh. week. They were giving him some reps. Wow, oh, Sanchez. Dirty Sanchez. That was the dirty play. The dirty point buck, you might say. Man, it looked like Downward Dog had had it. Nips. Everybody's covered. Nips the tight end's the open. Sanchez. Dirty Sanchez running back out of the backfield. Oh. Fumble. Wow. You just can't keep turning the ball over. Cleveland Somebody's got to get that now. ball. Hey, would you blow me? You got to get that ball. Haywood just was in the right place that's at the big. right time. It's big now. Yeah, that's Cleveland's already up by three. Oh, man. Bo's stretching for a six-yard gain. Now, Lyman need to get lower. Now, can Cleveland make something out of the tackle oh. sack in the backfield by B's knees? B's knees. I was going to say, Cleveland needs to make something happen yeah, here. The take, the, take, knees, take the lead. Know? He is the bee's knees. Peacock keeping the ball. Throws it short. Oh, nice. He was just looking for the play. first. They were so scared of the long pass there that they just didn't see the open man. First down here for Peacock Cleveland. takes off. Somebody get him. Did he stretch across? He's short. I believe he's uh, short. Yeah. Eh, that... Drew Peacock short. <laughs> that Drew Peacock is That's short. That's what she ah, said. Ah, ah. Oh, and they They're calling the play and still can't stop him. He's, he's, he's too quick. He's a train. He is an expensive player for Cleveland, and he is worth pretty much every penny pay they paid. He's going deep. Might be a pick. Ooh. Oh. Now they're trying to throw it to That's Bo. a little underthrown. Bo has not had a successful year with receiving, though. Amazing running back, but not a good receiver. You got to be able to catch the ball out of the backfield. You got to be versatile. Cleveland now with the ball here. Fourth quarter up by three. Got him. There we go. Good stop. Trombone. Got to the quarterback. And it's a big stop right there. Oh, man. Yeah, this field goal is huge. That could still give the ovens the win. Or if it's made. If it's made. Oh, he nails it. Six. I'm sorry. Rod goes in you. 
Yeah, now this puts the uh, ovens in a great position. Touchdown could potentially win the game. It would win the game. Take well, the clock. There's, there's go all time. the way down. One possession. I mean, that fumble. Oh, oh man. Nice recover. Wow. Finally, they get one back by the pancake. And that was impressive. Boston pancake right there. I was just that was that dangerous. They, that they needed to recover from the fumble. Red it, Wings on their mind. going to the man they know best. Can he put a black mark on this Cleveland team? Toss season? play again. Red Wings controlling the clock. That's what they're doing. First down. That's exactly what they need to do right there. You know, Cleveland Just has been very down the dominant field. all season, but the Dutch ovens are One first down at a time. Got three men open. Hit him. Bam. Strike. Right and right and stride. The donkey, donkey punch. punch. Yep. On the hook route. 15. They are in touchdown range. They, they, they're but going they're, too fast. They are going too fast. You don't want to give Cleveland so much time. But they still got to get in the end zone. That was a good play to get back to the line of scrimmage right there. You know, if, if you, you got a shot to go in the end zone, get in there now. Go. Oh, man. Nips. Oh. You got to either throw it or go. You know, a lot of people. got to make the decision. A lot of people bitch about those uh, inside linebackers not rushing in all the time, but that was a smart move there for her not moving. Ooh. Bam. Throw the ball. You got to throw the ball. Phil McCracken with the sack, and now it's fourth and 21. The time Go for out. it. I say go for it. And they They're are going, going for, for it. it. Wow. Ahoy. Big call right here. Handoff. Nope. Play action. Fake. Throws oh. the ball deep. T Badger. Oh. oh, just out of the reach. Man, and he had it. He was wide open. It was Let's just, go defense. It was the pressure. The Cleveland pressure came in there. Got him. Oh, the toss play oh, again. Man. Burns him in. Fumble. Oh, wow. The oh, steamers the steamers got it back. back. Oh. That was impressive. Dead gun. It looks like that may have been Phil McCracken again with the recovery. He's had a hell of a He's day. He's had a today. big day, yeah. Oh, and the, Up top. They're just too worried about the run. Kenya. Wow. Oh, nice diving catch. catch. Oh, Good fight. She just pushes That's into the seven. ground. Dominating touchdown there. Not what I want to see. Yeah, the, the Cleveland is a strong team, man. You, I mean, they have to at least have your respect this season. Those turds just will not go down. Yeah. You know, some have said that Cleveland's arch nemesis of 2013 was the Dutch Ovens. But maybe in 2014, it was the Raider All-Stars. I am willing and ready to accept that challenge. If that's what needs to be done. Belted out the backup. Coming in. Oh, he's showing some moves here. I plan on, uh, I plan on seeing the steamers in the, uh, in the uh, after season here. In the... Well, both of you are going to the postseason. Both of you are going to be amazing playoff teams. You know, we're expecting a lot from you guys. Oh. Maybe that could be the uh, start of the rivalry there. And who knows? Maybe the Azerothian Assassins will be able to, you know, join you in the postseason. You know what I'm saying? Like, your, your, your division has really impressed and could send two Dirty Sanchez. wild cards. Oh, Our division is well versed. Dirty Sanchez has been a, a key player all season for the Dutch Ovens. It's still big. How much time? I mean... Nine we got nine seconds. seconds. I mean, That's not much. That huh? onside kick better be spot on so you can get one play. And you get five seconds for the onside kick. Hey, right? hey. Right. I've seen worse things happen. Oh, right. Oh, nice to nerd. Right to bow, too. Got him. And this what game, a game. Is over. The Cleveland Seamers, with, with probably one of the most impressive TFO seasons ever, ended on a high note with 166 yards to bone air. I thought he was. I thought he had so much more. It just feels like it sometimes. The Evans uh, opened up the passing game today. Got it going for him. It's, you know, it's 75% completion rating. Only 100 yards, but 75% is pretty good. Yep. yep. I mean, Dutch Evans had, you know, they, they had an adequate season. They won't be joining us in the playoffs. You know, they won their division in 2013. So they really need to go back to the drawing board and decide what works and what doesn't. But the Cleveland Steamers finally besting their brother in an epic, epic well, Brian, it was awesome having you here. It's going to be awesome seeing you guys in the postseason. You know, and uh, all the postseason games are commentaried, so uh, uh, maybe we'll be able to, to hook hook up. Nope, because there is going to be a set commentary staff. We're going to have myself and a special guest announcer for the bad games, and then for the mad games, the Sunday night guys are going to take those on. So, you know, it's going to be awesome. There's always next year. So, but that means I get to commentate your games, just, just so we're clear. Oh, yeah. So that means, you know, see you next Tecmo. Woo!